this is just Janet here and welcome to my kitchen I'm going to do a cooking vlog today because uh, last time I posted on Facebook I have cooked um, this dish and one of my subscribers uh, suggested if I can vlog this this is the caldereta caldereta baja or beef ribs caldereta I'm so thankful because I think it, this is my 11th vlog everyone and I'm so happy I'm just enjoying it and it has been two weeks since I did my vlog I didn't realize it's two weeks or it has been two weeks already I was just busy for a bit I have time today and my son have time today as well to help me so and we are so happy here in Sydney because tomorrow is our freedom day we are ending the lockdown and so many restrictions are easing by tomorrow so we are so happy about that and uh, for the last um, I think nearly three months only the grocery stores are open and we couldn't do any unessential shopping so praise God uh, and it's already October imagine that we are in bear already it's nearly Christmas so thank God for all the answered prayers and we are so thankful as well I'm thankful as well that here in Sydney the corona um, the COVID infection is decreasing every day we um, our peak was I think 1400 so yeah thank God that um, our COVID infection here in New South Wales is decreasing and um, for I think three months we were like nearly a thousand or we even peaked to 1400 1400 and yesterday we, uh, today I think we only we have 600 not only because there's still a lot of people sick out there and getting infected but yeah we continue to pray that um, we'll be protected and and um, don't forget God is still in control of everything so we are going to cook now going back to my cooking okay so here are the ingredients of our beef caldereta we have the beef ribs that I already mentioned earlier and I already uh, boiled it I boiled it for more than two hours uh, you might ask why I don't use um, pressure cooker I have a pressure cooker I just didn't use it this time because I have to time to boil it anyway for for that much um, hours because I find it, that it's more tastier when you boil it for a while than in the pressure cooker I know it saves a lot of time but it was okay this Sunday I have time to boil it we also have the potatoes and then we have a cup of um, peas I was getting the ingredients ready chopping everything and then I realized I don't have peas so I asked my son to quickly go to the <laughs> to um, Aldi and buy me peas so uh, now I have peas everyone so and then carrots just cut diagonally and then I have the green capsicum and the red capsicum just to make it colorful I put green and red and then I have the tomatoes I like putting tomatoes in my caldereta onions garlic and a cube of beef broth okay now uh, recently I watched uh, a, a vlogging show and um, I, I saw her on YouTube she's cooking caldereta manang sorry I forgot the name of the vlogger but uh, I saw her using oyster sauce instead of, of soy sauce when I tried it it tastes so much better even my family loved it and also I'm going to put banana ketchup tamis ang hang banana ketchup UFC so that there's a little bit of um, uh, spiciness and let us not forget our tomato sauce if you have noticed I don't have liver spread my family doesn't like liver spread so this is my version of caldereta you might say it's not caldereta because there's no liver spread but it tastes good as well even without the liver spread so let's get cooking so we'll put two tablespoons of oil because we're gonna fry the potato and the carrots first so it doesn't go mushy or hindi siya maduro when we cook it with the meat you know caldereta is one of those dishes because i like putting a lot of vegetable it doesn't matter if the meat 
is already gone. It, this is one of the dishes na yung sauce pa lang is already enough for you to eat it with rice. You know po, in Tagalog they say sauce pa lang ulam na. So I don't, sometimes I don't really need to put a lot of meat. So many people here in Sydney are so excited because tomorrow is Freedom Day. We finish our lockdown. Let's put the carrots. We just let it go brown. This is my 11th episode, guys. I'm so happy. So far, so good. I didn't vlog for the last two weeks because I was a little bit busy and my son was busy as well. One of my sisters said, Ate, I want to see more of what you're doing, not your face. <laughs> my sister, she lives in Sweden and we're so laughing. It's like bashing me with love. <laughs> we'll just let it go brown and then we will remove it from the pan and set it aside and continue cooking. It seems that everyone here in Sydney is so excited because tomorrow is, like what I said, Freedom Day. They called it Freedom Day because everyone can go outside now and enjoy the things that they want to do before the lockdown but only if you are double va vaccinated because we have reached more than 70% already of our population here in New South Wales. So yeah, and then when we reach 80%, there will be more easing of lockdown and more than that, everyone can relax even though you are not vaccinated. No one will be in lockdown anymore. We'll get this out now. And then we'll do the same with the capsicum or the bell pepper. We'll add a little bit of oil and then we'll do our onion. Smells so good. After that, we can put our meat now. And don't throw away the broth, of course, because we're gonna put that to make the sauce. Natatanggal na po sa buto. So now we'll just put the rest of the ingredients. We'll just put our tomato sauce. Tanta chan tancha lang po. Maybe two tablespoons of the ketchup. Put our broth as well, our beef cubes. Put our oyster sauce, about a tablespoon. Let's give it a stir. And let us put our beef broth. If you want um, hot and spicy, you can put chili, a little bit of chili, but I don't like it spicy. So this is just ketchup is okay for me. <laughs> so we'll put our potato and carrots now. Let's boil it again for two minutes, three minutes. We are also excited because next week we are back to church. We have been doing online service for nearly two, three months. So thank God. It's a rainy day today in Sydney, but it's so good to hear the rain. And I have been busy preparing the box that I will send to the Philippines. You know, the LBC box. <laughs> we Filipinos, a lot of Filipinos send LBC box or Balikbayan boxes, especially during Christmas. I try to be early because I know it will be a very busy uh, season for these uh, Balikbayan boxes couriers. And because uh, no one can go overseas, I'm sure a lot of people will be sending Balikbayan boxes. So I am one of those and I thank God that we have opportunity to bless other people. Not only my family, but um, those people who are in need, uh, especially in my hometown, I prepared an extra box for them. I just um, want to help maybe 10, I just want to help 10 families. 
so I bought extra and um, organized it. So this year I will be sending, uh, I will be sending three boxes. Before I used to send just one box. You know, it took me like maybe 15 years or 10 years I have been here. And then I started sending a box to the fam to my family in the Philippines. I, I didn't do it for a long time. I think 10 years ago I started doing it. And I only, I started for sending one box. And then last year I said, oh no, one box is too small. So this year I, I prepared two boxes and extra box for the neighbors or my family can choose who, whom they want to give it to over there in Bataan. So it's a privilege that we can help other people. And in, in the time that we have at the moment, every little thing that we can give to our um, to the people, it doesn't matter what it is, small or big, I'm sure it's it will be a big help to them. So especially the Christmas is coming, try to find ways that you can help someone. Even if it's just someone, you don't need to help a lot of people. Just someone and you will make a big difference. Let's put our capsicum, let's put our peas. The color looks Christmassy. Ow, 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 ow. Don't splatter on me. Look at the color, guys. Beautiful. Let's taste it. Now let's put salt. Let's put a lot of pepper. I'm actually excited for Freedom Day. <laughs> I still have work tomorrow and um, yeah, I don't know what to get the, the, what to do first. I was telling them, asking my family, oh, what are we gonna do next Saturday? Me, I wanna go to the beach and have lunch there to, to my favorite, um, to my favorite beach here in um, Sydney. I wanna go there and have some fish and chip by the water. And I also need to get my nails done. Look at my nails. That's how it looks like now. This is nearly three months no color so i want to get that done as well and I start christmas shopping because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future our neighbor victoria our state neighbor they are not um well at the moment because their covid uh infection today is nearly 2000 that's not good i'm getting hungry this is our dinner for tonight and it's nearly seven so just in time for dinner so hopefully next week i can show you something not in our house not being in our house we're done so i'm just gonna put it in a serving platter this is our beef caldereta my version here you go guys my version of beef ribs caldereta i hope that you enjoy cooking this and to the person who requested it here you go i hope you enjoy cooking this and yeah have a good week for all the people here in Sydney. Let's get excited for a Freedom Day tomorrow, but still be careful out there and be safe. And to my people watching in the Philippines and somewhere else, thank you so much for watching. And let me know how you did um, cooking this um, dish, okay? Thank you, keep smiling, be safe, and thank God for everything that he has done for us. Bye-bye. Have a safe week.